everybody. I wanted to do a video today to talk to you really quickly about a chemical that I recently found out is in the Bath and Body Works hand soaps. Uh, I usually get really excited whenever a new season you know comes out and they get all the new smells and I guess this happened back in the spring when I was going to kind of replenish my supply of hand soap. But I found out that they have a chemical in them called, I don't know if it's pronounced triclosan or triclosan. It's T-R-I C-L-O-S-A-N. And basically, it's a synthetic pesticide that a lot of pe companies have been, well, not a lot, but companies, some companies, um, have put in their antibacterial products. It's, it's used as the antibacterial agent. Um, and the Bath and Body Works hand soaps do have that in them. Now, I don't think it's the, the hand, like the little bitty hand sanitizers, but it's like the hand pump soaps. Um, and basically, it's really dangerous. I mean, it's been linked to cancer, hormone disruption, liver damage, um, and you know, it's not necessary. There's other there's other hand soaps that don't even the antibacterial ones don't necessarily have that as their active ingredient, but the Bath and Body Works ones do. Um, we actually stopped using any antibacterial hand soap altogether because I've heard anyway that antibacterial products and the overuse of antibacterial products actually hurts you in the long run because it makes your body more uh, resistant to um, fighting off germs on its own. Um, so we just use you know regular soap that does not have um, any antibacterial qualities to it. And I know there's people that are going to say, well, there's chemicals and everything, and that's true, and there are. Um, but I don't always know, matter-of-factly, that it's supposed to be dangerous. Um, and they're not pesticides, a lot of them. I mean, they might not be good for you, but a pesticide, that has no reason being anywhere near me or my kids. Um, so a couple tips to watch out. You know, look at the labels, obviously. Um, see if it's in the ingredients and, and there's it's even in things that you wouldn't necessarily think of. I found an article that was talking about like athletic socks, the ones that are considered like they say antibacterial, antimicrobial. Those are the two words to watch for. Anything that says those two words, you know, make sure you check the ingredients. Even some kids toys that they, you know, the antimicrobial kids toys that are supposed to be, you know, germ resistant and all that. Certain ones of those had them. I know that one of the brands mentioned was Play School. I don't think it was everything, but you'll have to do your research on that. If I can find the article that I read about that, I will link it down below. Um, and, you know, uh, toddler training potties was another one. Certain ones that are antibacterial, Those some of those had that chemical in them. Um, so just, you know, watch out for that. It's something to note. I actually returned my Bath and Body Works hand soaps that I hadn't used. And she said, was there anything wrong with these? And I was like, well, it's got that chemical in them. And she'd never heard of it either. So I didn't think it, it has, it's not that widespread yet that a lot of people didn't know about it. So just want to let you know, you can make a decision for yourself. I mean, for me, for me, like I said, we chose to stop buying any Bath and Body Works hand soaps and then any antibacterial hand soap in general, just because, you know, we want our bodies to be able to fight off things on their own. Um, and we do use hand sanitizer if we're out and we cannot get to a, you know, a sink and soap and water. And then of course you all might know that I use the Wet Ones hand wipes, but they use different chemicals. I already checked, they use alcohol, um, I think is their main ingredient to kill the germs. So they do not have them. And I checked the website and I checked um, just the packaging itself to make sure. So do your research, check your products. Um, and I hope that this is helpful to some of you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.